Chris wants us to set up the attic, too. The vampire looked around the room of half-humans, half-bats, and said, Attention, my beloved children. At last, the moment I've been waiting for is here. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, it's dark up here. Uh, why don't I go get a flashlight? What's the matter, Mr. Vampire Expert? Afraid of the dark? No, I'm not afraid. I just can't see, that's all. Maybe you can't, Ralphie, but that can. Ooh, a bat! A real creature of the night. Yeah, it sure is creepy. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Creepy or cute, this is one animal of the night we know very little about. Maybe that's why we're afraid of them. We don't really know much about them. Whoa! Don't hurt it. Don't let it get me. I don't want to be turned into a, a, a vampire. Relax, Ralphie. This is real life, not some made-up story. That little bat has as much chance of being a vampire as... <gasps> what was that? <gasps> Yikes! Yes, Frizzle? Good evening, Clamps. Ah, oh, I see you found my animal of the night. Soul dark of wing and keen of craft. Of all night flyers, the master's a bat. That's just the kind of thing a vampire would say. <laughs> come on, Ralphie, you've been reading too many comic books. Oh, come, come, don't be afraid. Let me show you the secrets of being nocturnal. When you're a creature of the night, you wear the color of night so you won't be seen by your enemies. You stay hidden until the sun has set. The darker the night, the safer the flight. And of course, being nocturnal, you feed only during the night. Yikes! Ralphie? <gasps> Is something wrong? Wrong? No, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no. Ah, the parents have arrived. <laughs> This is my grandmother, Miss Frizzle. Oh, how nice to finally meet you. Keisha has told me so much about you, I could just eat you up. Did you hear that? Miss Frizzle wants to eat Keisha's grandmother. Ralphie, dear, are we going to say hello to Miss Frizzle? Actually, Mom, I, uh, she, uh, she's kind of busy right now. Oh, Ralphie, stop being a pain in the neck. You think I'm a pain in the neck? Just wait. Ah, oh, Dr. Tonelli, how good to see you again. And you, Miss Frizzle. Ralphie's been raving about your field trips. Yes, well, I do so enjoy taking him under my wing. <laughs> uh, excuse me, please. You gotta believe me. The Frizz must be a vampire. The Frizz can't be a vampire. She's our teacher. Maybe during the day. But what about at night, huh? Didn't she say, the darker the night, the safer the flight? She was talking about bats. If it's dark, they blend in, and their enemies can't see them. It says so right here in my book. Vampires like the dark, too, and night is when they strike, which is exactly why Miss Frizzle wanted our parents here after dark. Stop it, Ralphie. Our parents are here at night because they're too busy during the day, and that's all. Your attention, please. Before we all visit the classroom, I thought for the parents-only portion of the evening, we might go someplace more... Um suitable, more, um, breathtaking. <laughs> well, come along. I won't bite. Now do you believe me? Is this a field trip, Miss Frizzle? It is indeed, Mr. Pearlstein. Arnold adores them. At Phoebe's old school, we never had field trips. This is going to be fun. What about the children? Aren't they coming with us? Don't you worry about the children, Mrs. Franklin. They'll be taken care of. Yikes! We're next! I wonder where Miss Frizzle's taking them. I don't know, but we have to find out. Follow that bus. You've gone too far, Ralphie. There's no reason for us to spy on their meeting. Stay here if you want, Quiche. But how are you going to feel if your grandmother starts sleeping in a box in the basement? That's absolutely ridiculous. But I guess there's no harm in making sure. Hit it, Liz! We're here. I bid you welcome. Night flyers, we used to call them. Why would Miss Frizzle bring our parents to a place full of bats? And Miss 
mosquitoes. Because she's a vampire, that's why. What more proof do you need? Ralphie, Miss Rizzle, can't be a vampire because vampires don't exist. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for all this, and I'm going to find out what it is. Well, go ahead, Ralphie. Open the door. It was your idea. Move aside, you Weasley wimps. I'll do it. <laughs> now what? Okay, we can go back to school now. No, we can't, Arnold. We've got parents to save. Come on, there's a window over there. <gasps> Admit it, Ralphie, this vampire thing is a bunch of junk. You're making it up. <gasps> oh, yeah? Then explain why Miss Frizzle is making our parents drink blood. To the creatures of the night, long may we fly together. teacher vampire is to drive a textbook through her heart. Let's go. Get away, you bloodsuckers. Vampires? No, mosquitoes. <gasps> More bats. We're going to be eaten alive. Wait a minute. Hey, the bats don't want to eat us. They want to eat the mosquitoes. Look. Which proves they aren't vampires. Right. And give me back my book. It's rough. Good place to hang from, if you've got claws. How dark is it in here? Dark enough to sleep in, night or day. <laughs> what is that smell? Bat poop, Mr. Pearlstein? Get used to it. Bat guano, to be more exact, Mr. Ramon. It makes excellent fertilizer. Walk this way, please. It certainly is stuffy in here. It's the breath of a billion bats, Dr. Tonelli. Well, you know what they say, bat breath is better than no breath at all. <laughs> Mr. Oh, good, oh, good. Little pink babies. Ah, yes. The children of the night. Oh, aren't those bad babies cute? See, Ralphie? Bats are mammals, not vampires. Their babies drink milk, not blood. Get down! The first is coming! I can look if I want to. Cannot! Cancel! Cannot! You know, I didn't know that bats take care of their young. Oh, indeed they do, Mrs. Franklin. Bats make excellent mothers. Even on a wall full of pups, they recognize the sound of their own. Oh, just like me. I'd know the sound of my Keisha anywhere. Can so? Cannot. Keisha? Hmm, no one out there. Only some juicy tidbits for the bats. Tidbits? She's talking about us. She's going to feed us to the bats. we got to get help. She said tidbits, not kidbits. <laughs> Ralphie, what are you trying to do? Get us out of here before she turns us all into vampires. Wonder what this does. <laughs> One, Ralphie. You turn the bus into a bat. And this is turning into a field trip. Where are we going? I don't know. It's too dark to tell. <laughs> is it just me, or does everything look really weird? Well, what do you expect? The bus is a bat, remember? What if we crash into something? Phew, that was close. Before the bus turned into a bat. Awesome. How does the bus keep from running into stuff? It must be because it's a bat. That's how. The bat bus knows how to get around in the dark, like them. But how? I think it's got something to do with that pinging sound. I don't know about you guys, but that pinging is killing my ears. <sighs> I can tell you this. Every time the bat opens its mouth, I hear a ping. Yeah, and then its ears wiggle. I think it's listening to the echo of each ping. I hope the bat bus is listening now, or we're gonna crash. Wow, that's it. When the sounds echo back, the bat bus knows something's there and doesn't bump into it. That 
must be what the bats are doing when they make that funny sound. They're using echoes to locate things. Echoes to locate? Echolocation. Bats don't need to see with their eyes. They can see with their ears. Weird, but cool. Bats use sound to get around. Ma, stand ahead! Oh no, don't tell me that the bus is hungry. At least we know how bats grab a bite to eat. Ew, yeah, disgusto. And night is a good time for bats to eat. They're experts at finding food in the dark. Not because they like to scare people, Ralphie. Yeah? Well, we don't have time for midnight snacks. We have to get back to the castle. Come on, Ralphie, admit it. Bats are cool. And if you were a night animal, you'd want to be one. I would not. Or would I? could fly back to the castle in the dark, find a way inside, and save his parents from Count Frizzula. Ralphie, what are you doing? Bringing this thing back to the castle. <laughs> yep, Ralphie, you sure know how to wing it. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Hey, I love being a bat! Then I can do zero to 60 in three seconds flat! Watch me, Tim! I can turn on a dime! It's not bad being a bat. You can catch a drink on the fly. And a fly on the drink. Hmm, not bad. Or snag a moth on the wind with your wind. I wish I could turn off the moon. That light gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Wonder why. Owl alert! Owl alert? <laughs> Yikes! That's why we avoid light. Our enemies can see us in it. The darker the night, the safer the flight. Just like Miss Frizzle said. And she ought to know. She's the queen of the night. By now, our parents could be... What if Ralphie's right? What if Miss Frizzle is a vampire? No way, it's not true, Ralphie's never right. Attention, parents of my dear, beloved children. It's the Frizz. At last, the moment I've been waiting for has come. That's exactly what the vampire in my comic book said. To the castle! Wait for me! I don't want to believe it, but I'm beginning to. Your time has come. Something terrible is happening. And who would like to be my first victim? I told you she was a vampire. Take me, Miss Frizzle. Take me. <gasps> grandma! Don't you dare bite my grandmother! Darker the night, the more I think Ralphie's right. The Frizz could be a vampire. Yeah, and I don't want my dad to have nose flaps. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! It's really, really dark down here. Yeah, we'll never find Miss Frizzle. We're bats, guys, remember? To find a location, use echolocation. Follow me. Parents turn into bats. This way. Bat or no bat, I just don't like the dark. Wait for me, guys. Well, what happened? You forgot. If a bat can't hear, it can't tell where it's going. Come on. Hold on, Grandma. I heard Keisha. Let's go. There she is. They're in the next room. Listen. So, what do you think of our field trip now? I can't believe I let you do this to me. <gasps> my neck will be sore for a week. <gasps> That's my mom. Let's go. Maybe we should have stayed home tonight. Dad, you took the words right out of my mouth. What about the kids, Miss Frizzle? <gasps> Are they going to suffer the same fate as us? Of course. They're mine, too, aren't they? <laughs> Forever. We can't let the Frizz get away with this. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? 
Make sure she never does this again. Whoa. Huh? Enough blood rushing to the head. Everyone down now. Time to get back to school to see the class project. Uh, do we have to? I could hang around here for another hour. <laughs> Mr. Ramon. That was incredible. I really felt like a bat. Me too. I used to be afraid of bats, but not anymore. As I always say, to be a bat is to love a bat. <laughs> it's no wonder Phoebe loves your field trips, Miss Frizzle. I'm so glad we transferred her from that other school. <laughs> As Keisha says, there's simply magic. She doesn't know the half of it. Nice going, Ralphie. More bats. They must be coming home from night school. <laughs> is it just me, or do those bats look like our kids? Oh, why, so they do. Oh, what a wonderful coinkidink. <laughs> How could you ever think Miss Frizzle was a vampire? I can't believe we listened to you. Hey, she, she looked like a vampire, uh, moved like a vampire, and talked like a vampire. In any decent movie, she would have been a vampire. Eh, not good enough, Ralphie. It was only your imagination. I I'm sorry. I, I was wrong about the frizz. She's really a good teacher who just gets wrapped up in her work. <laughs> and you were wrong about bats, too. Okay, they're not vampires. They're nocturnal animals that use echolocation to fly at night. And why do they come out at night? They come out at night to feed, okay? And what do they feed on? Come on, say it. Okay, okay, okay. They feed on insects, not human blood. You happy now? Keisha may be happy, but the bad news is we're still bats. Thanks for reminding us, Carlos. <laughs> Phoebe! <laughs> Go home. Hey, what do you know? It's our kids. Keisha, what are you doing here? Ralphie, I know that guilty look. What's going on? Uh, nothing, Mom. Really. Oh, I'm sure they were just hanging around. Right, Ralphie? Right, Miss Frizzle. And that's all! <laughs> <laughs> We're just wrapping up things here at the castle. I'm the producer. How can I help you? Cool. I have some questions about your show on bats. I'm hung up on a few things. You're not the only one. <laughs> What's on your mind? First of all, if vampires aren't real, how come everybody's always talking about them and putting them in books, movies, and TV shows like yours? Because the idea of vampires is scary, and people like to be scared by make-believe monsters. Okay, next question. How come there was only one kind of bat on your show? There are almost 1,000 different kinds, you know. You're right. More than almost any other kind of mammal. And they live all over the world. And though most of them eat insects, some eat pollen, nectar, fruit, frogs, fish, other bats, and even lizards. Bet no one told Liz that, huh? Uh, well, those kind of bats were banned from the set. And we had very tight security. Yeah, another thing. The only bat sounds we can hear are the squeaks bats make when they communicate. And we really can't hear the sounds bats use to echolocate. They're too high-pitched for us to hear. Hey, give us a break. You know, if we didn't use a little movie magic, you wouldn't have understood how they worked. Okay, I'll give you that one. But here's something I don't think you wanted to mention. There are three kinds of bats that do feed on blood. Yes, but they're only called vampire bats because the people who named them had heard make-believe vampire stories. Not only that, vampire bats don't even suck blood. They make a tiny cut in the animal and lap up the blood that comes out. Well, that's true. But bats don't really bother people. How come you know so much about bats anyway? Well, what do you think? You're the only ones who know anything about the creatures of the night? <gasps> I'm just kidding. Did I scare you? <laughs> who, me? Oh, no. TV producers don't fall for that kind of stuff. Thanks for calling. <laughs> See? 
It's a wild. 